Hello, Aurelia. How's it going? I'm so sorry if I mispronounced your name. Um, this is Jose. I just spoke to you about a few hours ago on the phone in regards to me recording a quick video for you and showing you some simple steps on how exactly you can start improving your online presence. So, usually I start off with your website. However, it looks like you guys don't have a website. So, I'll be using your Facebook uh, page to start off this video. But the whole point of this video is to show you the opportunities you guys are missing by not being found by your potential customers. So, let's get this video started. So, first things first, I'm going to start off by explaining what a keyword is. A keyword is a popular term that is searched by people on Google. So a painter search order is a very popular keyword in the Brains and search order area. Uh, the keyword of painter search order is searched an average of 170 times per month. Obviously, there's many other keywords that you can see you can target, whether it's Brains and Sarasota, Venice, Palmetto, whatever you guys want to target. But I want to keep this video short and simple and easy to understand. So let's just stick to this keyword, okay? So an average 170 people search this a month. And the first thing you see when you go on Google is the ad section, the map pack section, and then the organic listing. Let's start off with the organic listing. So competitors like Jeff Schultz painting are currently generating about 164 organic traffic per month, meaning an average of 164 leads are going to his website, making phone calls every month. And What's so good about ranking organically? So when you rank organically, you don't have to worry about that lead being sent over to other businesses like usually Angie's List Us or Yelp. When someone goes to your website, that is your website. Those leads are going directly to you. That's why it's very important for businesses to rank organically on Google in order to keep expanding their business. So I'm going to be showing you the exact steps that Jeff Schultz is taking in order to be ranking number one for keywords as such as Painter Sarasota. Normally, I'll show you two in your website. However, it doesn't look like you have one, so I'm just going to use I'm just, I'm just going to be using his website to show you. So first things first, when it comes to ranking on Google, there's one very influential factor, which is content. When it comes to ranking on Google, make sure your content content is optimized. So let me show you real quick. So as you can see, Jeff Schultz has keywords like painters in Sarasota, Sarasota painters, which is what we're actually looking at right now, and other keywords like painting search in Sarasota. So as you can see, having those keywords in your content does help you be found by Google. Another way of being found by Google is by saving your images under those keywords. So as you can see right here, Jeff Schultz saved his images under professional painters in Sarasota. And why is that? So when Google crawls your website, it doesn't care about your design. It only cares about your content, your files, and if your files and content is relevant to whatever people are searching, in this case, Painter Sarasota, the higher you rank. So, next influential factor when it comes to ranking on Google is backlink. So, what exactly is a backlink? So, essentially, a backlink is a clickable link that is in a different website, and once you click on it, it will transfer over you this power. So, you have to be really careful where these backlinks are coming from. So, let me show you real quick. So press here. Jeff Schwartz has a backlink coming from Angie. And if you click on it, boom, it takes you over to his website. So like I said, you have to be really careful where these backlinks are coming from because not all of them are good. So lastly, 30% of the traffic that searches a keyword on Google tends to stay here. And 70 goes through the organic listing, which I just showed you. So how else can you start generating the other 30% of traffic and turn them into phone calls to your business? So, first things first, there are many influential factors to appear in the top three Google Maps. And why is it important to appear in the top three of Google Maps? Well, think about it. People love convenience. And they see these top businesses. It already creates a, a, a sense of authority under their eyes. So, nine out of ten times, they're going to call the top three businesses being featured on the top three Google Maps. So, the way you can feature a business on the top three Google Maps is by having more business citations. So, what is a business citation? Essentially, a business citation is an online listing put in an online directory that has your business name, business address, and business phone number. And to summarize, summarize how it works, it's pretty much the more you have, then you can better, the higher the authority you're going to have under Google's eyes. Obviously, there's other things you want to do when you have your Google My Business profile, like adding pictures, making posts every day, and optimizing your description. Like I said, I want to keep this video short and simple. So if you guys have any questions after this video, please feel free to message me. But those are one of the few ways you guys can start working on in order to improve your online presence 
and start generating more calls for your business. Thanks for watching Aurelia, and I hope you have an amazing day.